Hi, yogis. I'm Kim Shan, founder of Rethink Yoga. Today we're going to be working on compass pose. Compass pose requires that pretty much every joint in your body be open and flexible. Also, flexibility in the hamstrings doesn't hurt, but I will show you how to modify. With compass pose, there's a lot you can do to warm up into the pose, and what I'm going to do is take you through a flow that gets you there. So, starting in down dog, and then we're just going to come right down onto the mat to warm up. I'm just getting warm myself. And I like to start opening hamstrings with Vishnu's couch. Lining up on your forearm, yogic toe lock. We'll start left leg first. So Vishnu's couch is nice because you're engaged. Everything that's in contact with the mat is very engaged. On the other hand, you're opening hamstrings, hips, and calves. Now, if you want to intensify the pose, bringing your right arm all the way down. And then we'll go on our side. So you're engaging now the leg that's in contact with the floor, engaging core, lifting chest, and then opening through your upper leg, hamstring and calf, hip. And then to down dog. Just a nice warm up. And then I'm going to come into warrior two. So right leg lifts, core plank, right foot to the top of the mat, pivoting my left heel down and lifting Virabhadrasana. A nice hip opener. Bringing your palms together at heart center for what I call stretch asana. Now, modification of this pose, especially as you flow, is to take your hands to the earth and walk yourself back and forth across the mat. If you're feeling pretty warmed up, hands to your heart and shift. And back to down dog. Still working right side, I'm going to take my right foot to the ceiling and step forward into awkward lunge, which brings my right foot outside both hands. Inhale, lift your heart. And as you exhale, take your hips back, lifting your right toes up off the mat and dropping your chest. Inhale, and exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, pulling your right hip back and down. And then both hands straddling my front foot. I'm going to press the sole of my right foot down and walk my left foot up. 45 degree angle, both hips back, heart up, exhale to fold. Squaring my hips, a little extra stretch if you'd like, bending the back knee. And then coming back to my mat for down dog. Left leg up. Core plank, knee to nose, winding all the way up to warrior two. Coming into stretch asana. 
Taking a few flows back and forth across the mat here. And then back to my down dog. Left leg lifts, knee to nose, into awkward lunge, the left foot to the outside of my hands. Inhaling my heart up, exhaling hips back. Inhale, exhale. One more. And then both hands framing the front foot, sole of the foot down, walk your back heel up. Inhale, spine long. Exhaling into Parzo Tanasana. A little more intensity, bending the back knee. And then back to down dog. Maybe through a flow, or a few breaths here, holding your down dog, whatever feels right. Three-legged dog. My right knee is coming into my chest. Right foot top of the mat. Left knee to the earth. Dropping your tailbone, making a clothing adjustment. Uncurl your back toes, which helps you drop your tailbone low. Pulling my belly up and in, interlace your thumbs, bend your elbows, and lift your heart. Then bringing your right hand to the floor, grab your left foot from the instep. Now, you can bend your elbow and draw that foot closer up into your left hip, which is a really nice opening on the quad. Your choice how far you want to take this. Hand to your thigh, arm up, or you can take a bind. Releasing the pose. I'm going to come into a lizard lunge. So, forearms to the earth or forearms to a block. A few breaths here. As you hug your right knee into your right shoulder, you feel a nice intensity through your right hip, warming up and opening. To come out of lizard lunge, both hands to the floor to lift your chest. Pivot your right heel, I'm sorry, left heel down. Keep your right shoulder inside your right knee. Left arm high. Now I'm going to take this into a bind. It's totally optional. But if you'd like to bind, wrap your left arm over top, right arm underneath, and lift your ribs off of your thigh. Ribs like to rest. Bring it up. And then back to down dog. Left leg lifting as you exhale, draw your knee into your nose. Left foot top of the mat. Right knee to the earth. As your hips move down, uncurl your toes. Lengthen your tail and pull up at your core, arms overhead. Interlacing your thumbs the other direction, lift your heart. And then left hand to the earth. Take the instep of your back foot. Taking this as far as you want to go. Maybe your hand to your thigh. 
maybe arm overhead, or the mind if that's what feels right. Releasing this pose doesn't mean pushing the ejection button, so you want to take it slow, and then come into your lizard lunge, forearms to the earth or the block. Hugging your left knee into your left shoulder. Heart moves forward, no need to look back and down. To release, press both palms into the floor, lift your chest. Your right heel pivots down, left shoulder stays inside your left knee. Right arm high. And then if bind is where you're headed, the right hand will come back. Left hand underneath. Left ribs off of your thigh. Releasing into down dog. Again, right leg lifts. Knee to nose. And warrior two. Coming into goddess pose. Take your feet at 45 degree angles. For this variation, we're taking forearms to the inner thighs. Get a nice opening through the inner thighs and hips. I'm taking my right shoulder to the floor first. Spine is long. Crown of my head is moving forward. And then left. Lifting. Toes. Pull in, heart high, exhale to fold. And then come into a seated position. Take your right foot to start. And we're just going to begin to open this right hip. The movement brings synovial fluid into the joint. Being careful always to get toes, ankles, and knees in the same direction. And then rock the baby. So options, hands under your shins and shin to chest. If that feels good, try elbows. If you're still good, wrap. But here's the kick. As soon as you feel yourself drop into your sacrum, back it up a step. Let me show you. So, if I'm here, and this feels good, but to hold the pose, I've got to drop into my sacrum. I've just lost a lot of the stretch. So, lifting up, pulling up and out of your sit bones. Chest high. Then rock the baby. Now, one side is always different than the other. So, we'll start with the left. First, just opening the hip, kind to the joints, <laughs> and then into rock the baby so your shin comes across your chest, hands first, toes, ankle, knee, all in the same direction, heart high. Elbows are a possibility to intensify or take a full wrap. Now with compass pose, 
There's a few variations. So when you feel like you're ready, start first with this variation, bringing your left foot in, take your right foot and just open with one foot, getting the sensation of pulling up and lifting, heart high, back long, shoulders and neck soft. So this is a nice variation, and the more you move your right leg open, the more opening you're getting in your hip. Left side. One of the variations requires a strap, which I actually don't have here, but I do have a black scarf. <laughs> so I'm going to pretend my black scarf that's sitting on my kitchen table is going to be my strap, and we'll do the second variation with that. <laughs> so you're going to see a scarf appear out of nowhere. Awesome magic, yoga magic. Okay, here's your other variation. So, by taking the scarf to the bottom of your foot, it's like, um, you know, extending the length of your arms. So, taking the strap, left hand to right foot, take your right hand underneath your hamstring. It's okay if your right hip lifts. Use the strap to draw your foot up. Use your right hand, your right shoulder, to press your right hamstring back. And try the variation with the strap first. See how that feels. And then left side. So now I'm putting my strap around my left foot, strap in my right hand. Left hand goes under the hamstring. Lift and open using the strap. So if all of this is working, we can go for the full pose, which foundation is the same. Right foot in, taking your right hand to the pinky edge of your left foot. Bring your left shoulder under, left hand to the earth, lift and open. Now you want your chest to rotate. So my right ribs are rotating up toward the sky, bending my right elbow, nice big lift. Other side, left foot in, left hand to the outside of your right foot. Bring it up over your shoulder to start, open your right hand, and then lifting up into the pose and bending your left elbow. So we'll show you how to take this then into an arm balance at some other point, but that gives you the beginnings of your compass pose.